Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm making a different type of video. I'm making a video on a car that is very near and dear to my heart. It's a car that has sat in my driveway for a very long time. It is a car that is the family car that has taken me to college back in 2004 and 2005. And it is a car that represents a lot of happiness for a lot of people in my family. That car is a 2004 Nissan Pathfinder Platinum Edition. A car that is a plain Jane vehicle and I believe is the last of its kind because it is a vehicle that after this year no longer returned to form. It is a car that no longer resembled the boxy nature that you are familiar with. It is the final version of a vehicle that resembled the boxy SUV that had that all-terrain utilitarian look. So ladies and gentlemen, this is a 2004 Nissan Pathfinder Platinum Edition, the boxy unibody frame construction. This was a vehicle that definitely had a lot of character and definitely resembled what I think is the best design for SUVs. Because after this, all SUVs started to look like minivans. I think the influence of the Lexus RX 300 left a bad taste in a lot of enthusiasts' mouth. The interior of this car is familiar Nissan. You have a gauge cluster that is all one piece. You have the steering wheel, of course, and then you have the automatic climate control that is familiar, the buttons and the arrangement looks like that on a Nissan Sentra, the Nissan Altima, as well as a Nissan Maxima. Over here, you have a mask because we're still in a pandemic, but the original radio that came with this stopped working or it didn't have Bluetooth, so there's a replacement unit that's in store for this location right here. This Pathfinder originally came with a six disc CD changer that was in dash. Well, that was replaced in favor of something a little bit more modern. And these are the neon lights that I definitely don't like, this single din arrangement that we have here. Uh, original radios actually look better. I would have kept the original radio, but unfortunately, when I was trying to modernize this car, this seemed to be the best possible solution. Over here is something that you normally don't see in cars, four range low. And then you have auto. I usually keep it in two wheel drive just for fuel economy purposes. This car would definitely look better with a six speed or a five speed, but uh, for the purposes that my parents use the car, just basically whenever they come to New York, they just need an automatic transmission that can get them from point A to point B. This definitely serves the function. I think this is a very smart solution. You have a handbrake, which is amazing, but you also have hideaway cup holders, which do not impede upon the design. It allows for a continuous flow in the center of the dash. And of course you can see the back seats, almost never been sat in, but everything looks amazingly tidy and clean. Probably the nicest Pathfinder interior you'll ever see. This car features a V6 3.5 liter VQ engine, which was ubiquitous with all the vehicles that Nissan was releasing during this time period. This engine was featured in the Nissan Altima as well as the Nissan Maxima. It debuted with the Nissan Maxima back in 1995 with the car that I'm very familiar with, the A32 Maxima. And that kept winning Ward's 10 best engines and it was on that list for like 10 consecutive years. And here you have it, the VQ engine, the V6 3.5 liter in a Nissan Pathfinder. And why was it featured on Ward's 10 best engines list? Because it just was super reliable. It was like Toyota Camry reliable. It was that good. So here it is in a Nissan Pathfinder. So this Pathfinder drives incredibly well. It is one of the smoothest SUVs that you'll ever drive because, well, it has a unibody construction. It is not a ladder on frame construction like that on my Land Rover uh, Discovery or the Range Rover. Well, the Land Rover belongs to my mom down in Florida, but it's definitely a different type of feeling to this vehicle. This is more aligned with the modern day vehicles that are being released today. There are very few vehicles that you find in the marketplace that have a ladder frame construction. It is not very common. 
So this is more in line with everything that is coming out today. So that's why you have that car-like uh, driving feel. So the Nissan Pathfinder is definitely one of those vehicles that were iconic in the 90s and early 2000s. It was the car that people just aspired to get because the Range Rover, you have to keep in mind, was a very rare vehicle. It wasn't a vehicle that you could just easily get from a dealership. There was very few dealerships and the dealer networks were very small. Ultra luxury vehicles, that came on later. So a Pathfinder seemed like a very awesome vehicle to have because it just represented this all-terrain utilitarian feeling that you could get only from a few selections that were available in the marketplace during this time. Jeep was a big contender during this time with the Grand Cherokee. Now you have the Cullinan from Rolls-Royce. You have Bentley SUVs, you have Lamborghini SUVs, Porsche Cayenne. Like I drove one of those for a very long time. That was my daily driver for about eight years with a six-speed manual. Those were the vehicles that sort of were game changers in the SUV marketplace. And the Pathfinder sort of got left behind. But you have to remember during the 90s and the 2000s, the Pathfinder was the car. I remember deeply into the 90s and the 2000s, people were like, I used to want a Pathfinder with some tents, you know, like that was, that was like the ultimate G ride. That and the Mazda MPV. That's the end of it. This is my small commentary. This is the family vehicle that I have near and dear to my heart. This is a 2004 Nissan Pathfinder that will never ever come up for sale because my dad just loves this car. It drives everywhere. It's super reliable. It's never in the shop because it just always works. It's one of those vehicles that is worth saving year in, year out. It's just an amazing car. So uh, thank you for my short commentary to bring the new year. I wanna wish you all a happy and healthy and safe new year as we navigate into 2022.